Hi guys, it's Ray. Um, <clears throat> today I am doing a 20 ounce Maker Flow Skinny Straight. I'm going to do a glitter method that's kind of tack it, kind of not. Um, I'm not using tack it for this one. I'm going to use the Elmer's Craft Bond spray adhesive. If you don't immediately stick it to something else, it's tacky. So I put this on about 10 minutes ago. Um, the cup is tacky, so you can hear it. And I'm going to use my Blue Hobbit Color Shift Glitter from Glitter Bees. And I am prepping it to put this tattoo on. So that's what this one's going to be. I just poured some in a smaller cup because I wanted to see the color out of the jar before I committed to this color. So. I'm just going to apply it all over the cup. Hopefully I got a good enough coverage with my spray. I'm not actually sure if this is going to end up blue or like lavender on here, to be honest. Not sure what it's gonna do when it sort of lays down. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the bottom done and out of the way. Hopefully I sprayed the bottom. I honestly can't remember. I'm just working over regular computer paper. Nothing fancy. I just turn the cup long ways over the short ways of the paper. I could work from the jar and basically pour the whole jar on, but I'm trying to not make a huge, huge mess. I'm playing with a lot of glitter today. I'm going to clean up glitter messes all day long, so. I'm trying to contain it a little bit. I feel like I didn't get enough adhesive on the bottom. This adhesive goes on pretty clear, um, so it's kind of hard to tell what you've gotten and what you haven't. Alright, so I'm going to do one more, one more pour trying to make sure I get any white spots and then I'll be good. I mean, I'll be moving the glitter by hand in a second here, so. I've just been really enjoying the Tacket method, but I was looking for a maybe different way of doing it. Um, this doesn't come out exactly the same as using the tacket, but I'm pretty happy with the one I already did this way with glitter, so I'm comfortable just moving ahead with it. Alright, I'm going to scoop that up one more time and get it out of the way. And I'm just going to kind of burnish it like I would with regular tacket. But you see it's not, um, it's 
It's not exactly like the tacket, but it's not. And I'm getting a lot of white showing through, so I suspect that's um, because of the way I sprayed. I didn't go too, too heavy-handed. I don't know that I want to attempt a second coat. This is really pretty. It looks like I'm almost exactly like the blue opal holographic vinyls. It's actually how it looks using this method. So. So now I have to decide if I want to try another coat or leave it Speckly. I feel like I'm going to have to do another coat. So I'm going to get it sprayed in a couple minutes here and I will come back in and do a second coat and see what that does. But it's pretty cool. This color is pretty cool. And I think this is going to look really good on top of it. So. I'll be back. Okay, I am back to do this again. I got a little heavy handed at the top, so we'll see. Apparently I don't have a just right setting. I have too much or too little. But I should definitely have better coverage this time around. Whoops, I almost just dumped that every And again, I don't know if I even did the bottom. I'll turn on my other light here. It's a little dark for me, so. dip the bottom this time a little bit around that edge. All right. I'm going to scoop this up. Dump it back in my jar over here. And I am going to burnish it again and see if we get a different result. Feels like a differently cut glitter, so I feel like it might end up with just a different coverage in the first place. Yeah, 
See, I'm ending up with a sort of similar result this time. So, being that the other glitter I used didn't do that, I'm going to go with its this um, particular cut of glitter. Just maybe isn't the best for this method. Um, so what I might do is mix a little bit in that first layer of epoxy when I get to that, which is going to be in just a few minutes here. But it really is a pretty glitter. I think it's going to be great for that tattoo as the decal. You can't see it as much, but up close you can see these little bare spots. Almost like it's just the wrong size cut for Tacket. Um, I'm going to add a little to the resin. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I am ready to get a coat on this, but like I said, I am going to add a little bit of the glitter to this coat. This is the glitter that I brushed off with the Tacket, so I didn't waste it. So I'm just going to mix that into my resin. I'm using quite a bit, but I'm not worried about it because um, this is kind of what you would call the wet method of epoxying a cup with glitter. Um, not something I normally do, but in this case, it's what's going to happen. So I'm going to get that layer on. And see if that fixes some of the issue. And hopefully this is enough resin to coat. It should be. And I know my cup is drooping. Um, I'll get it straightened out in a minute. My cups don't usually turn sitting where I record. I turn them back the other way at the other end of the table, so, and as you can hear, all of the turners are turning now. So, all right, I'm going to get that smoothed on, and this is probably going to need, now that I've put glitter in this layer too, um, one more coat before it can be decaled. So I'm going to do a clear coat on it before you see it again. I will look at it and make sure that it's pretty good before I decide if it needs more glitter or not. But it does look like it's filling in quite nicely now, so I think I'm going to let it be. I'm okay if it has some white showing through because it is getting that large tattoo. So, we should be good to go here. But you can tell by how gritty it is that it's going to need another coat. Clear coat. So, I am just going to let it be. Let it do its thing, and I will come back in, give it a flood coat, and then I will be back when it's ready for that tattoo to go on. Alrighty. Okay, so I am ready to get the tattoo on this one. So I have it trimmed down, and I'm going to peel the front off. And this one's going to be pretty tight top to bottom. And to look at it to see what angle it goes at. I think that way, so the bottom butterfly is fairly straight. So I'm going to get it placed. I'm going to start at the center and kind of smooth it around. The tattoos will stick a little bit on their own, so. And I have my damp cloth ready. So I'm going to wrap that around and to let it sit a second. I'm going to grab a silicone brush. 
I like to use these silicone brushes when I do my tattoos, water slides, things like that. So um, sometimes I do apply epoxy with them, but I grab these at the Dollar Tree. When they have them in stock, I usually pick up a couple. So. Just making sure it's smoothed down pretty well. So with the brush, what I like to do is anywhere it looks like there might be an air bubble, I like to push that out. Sometimes the bubble is just the backing, but you can't really tell until you remove the backing. So I like to smooth it prior to removing the backing. So I just push those bubbles right on out. And then I like to slide the backer. I don't like to pull up, I like to slide. So, that's it. Isn't she cute? Quick and easy. And it's on there pretty much perfect because I smoothed it with the silicone brush. So I'm going to let this sit and dry a little bit. And then I will come in and get the next coat of resin on it. Okay, time to get a coat of resin on this cutie. It's just getting a thin coat for now. I'll decide once this coat is dried if it needs one more or not. I'm not going to put any kind of decal on this one. I'm just going to let it go with just the uh, tattoo on it. I think. So I'm just going to get that smoothed on. Make sure it's fully covered. And in a little bit, I will come back in and bring you down for a close-up of it. But for now, well, that is it. I love it. I love the sparkle of this glitter so very much. It's just got that little hint of blue and opal in it. Alrighty, that's it for now. And here is this one done. Uh, it looks pretty flawless at first glance. So, um, I'm going to call it done. I'll look it over more closely when I do my final cleaning on the top. But, as this one stands, I do believe I can call it complete. But I am really pleased with this one. I love the way the glitter looks through the decal on this one. I love the color choice of the glitter. So that is it for this Giraffe Lovers Tumblr.